Hey guys, uh, for today I'll teach you how to connect your V8 sound card here uh, to your laptop. So we're using an old laptop here uh, connected to your V8 sound card and we're playing an UBS software for streaming and recording. So here as you can see we're playing here in a uh, YouTube uh, no copyright music so we'll check if the connection is okay uh, here we're using a speaker so that you can, uh, we can hear the connection is okay and functioning so we will test So as you can see, uh, we'll check in the UBS uh, software. So the desktop audio is functioning, and we'll check the mic. So we will check the mic here. Low mic check. Low 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 mic check. So as you can see, the mic and the desktop audio is functioning. Okay. Low, low, low. Hello, hello. Mic check, mic check. Low, 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 low. Mic check, mic check. So it's so very simple, guys. Uh, so that's how we wire it from our OBS to the laptop okay alright guys uh, watch the video so that I can teach you how to what are the wires and cables that are needed for the V8 uh, connecting a laptop okay so what are the what are the gadgets that we are needed for this V8 sound card connecting to your laptop so here so the slots have, have dynamic mic condenser mic headset earphone speaker charging uh, instrument live one at live two so what are the wirings that we are needed for this is dynamic mic is used for the uh, 6.5 mm mic that uh, normal mic that you have uh, it's like a karaoke mic if you had a karaoke mic so if you had a condenser mic a condenser mic will be look like this like this one yep so it has a noise cancellation mic so it's good for streaming and blogging and recording okay focus So from there, a uh, headset and earphone speaker. If you had a headset, you can put it here and a speaker here. And for the charging, uh, okay, here. And instrument are for the, if you had a, a guitar or a violin or anything, drums uh, that connect, that will you will connect to V8, you can put it in here. So Live 1 and Live 2 are the source of sounds. Uh, like uh, any gadgets that you had a uh, phone or iPad or a player uh, DVD player like that you can put in here live one at live two and this V8 has a Bluetooth capability so if your phone had a Bluetooth you can connect it for a source of sounds so it's so very simple and this one is very cheap I bought it for only ten dollars and for the wirings all you had all you'll be needing is a wire that is type c it is a 3.5 mm auxiliary and a type c cable wire 
that you will connect to your live one or live two at your v8 so this wire is free if you buy a v8 sound card there will be a cable like this okay connect this to your live one or either in a live two okay so in the manual of v8 you can use uh for the connecting to a laptop or computer you can you will use uh a charging but there's a disadvantage in you using a charger cable because it has a noise frequency that will affect your streaming and recording so instead of using a charger cable we will use a 3.5 auxiliary cable it will be look like this it's a 3.5 both male Uh, cable so for connecting it like this uh, cable 3.5 mm you'll put in here uh, in here in the speaker okay so you can connect to your laptop or your computer so your v8 uh, sound card will be look like this in the wiring okay and for your mic uh, you will put your mic here condenser mic if you had and if you had a uh, dynamic mic, the big one, 6.5 mm, so you can put in here, okay? So putting a mic in a V8 is very easy. Uh, you just plug it to your condenser mic. So it will be look like this. So if you're streaming or recording, I'll suggest that you'll use a headset okay uh, we will connect our v8 sound card to the laptop so by connecting it from live one here live one uh the source of it here so this one 3.5 mm you'll connect this one to the speaker of your laptop here at the side there's a logo, logo there that uh, headphone so you'll be you'll connect the live one there and the other one the speaker from here uh, your 3.5 mm will be connect to your mic mic slot okay so here so there's a mic logo you will connect your 3.5 auxiliary okay the live one is the headphone logo from here your sound card okay so your auxiliary from v8 3.5 mm here from head, uh, speaker connected to the mic of the laptop slot okay here so there will be an indicator there uh, uh, okay we will check the indicator so As you can see, there will be an indicator here like this one. Uh, the logo will be a headphone and the other one is the mic. So from live one from the V8, here from live one from the V8, uh, you will connect to the headphone, okay? And from the auxiliary speaker from the V8, like this one. So from the here speaker, 3.5 mm. Connect this one to the logo that had a mic on the slot. Okay, there. So the connection will be look like this one. Okay.
so from there uh, your V8 connection will be look like this okay so if you're using a headset or a speaker you can connect your headset or speaker here in the headset slot okay so the connection will be the same uh, look like this okay we will on the V8 and we will check if the connection is okay to your laptop okay so as you can see in the OBS the desktop audio is functioning and we will check the mic if the mic is functioning Hello, mic is one, two, three. So the mic is functioning. So if you're having a trouble, uh, if there's a noise feedback in your laptop, in your recording, you can go to your sounds uh, recording device from here. Okay. If you're having a trouble, an echo in your sounds, so you can go here in the logo speaker. Uh, you can right click and recording device. Okay, click the recording device. So Your connection will be look like this, okay? From there, in your microphone, you can right click your microphone and properties, okay? From there, in the listen settings, you uncheck. Here, if it's check, you will put uncheck. So you won't hear any sounds from your mic or recording like echo sounds. And in the level of your microphone, uh, if you can see that it has a, it will be had a volume. So you put your volume uh, into zero so that there will be no echo sounds in your recording or streaming. Okay, so click OK and OK. It will be look like this. Okay, so if you're having a trouble, something in your echo, in your settings, you can uh, here in your V8. Uh, if your mic or echo have having trouble, you can adjust the volume of it, okay? You can adjust your volume with your mic, or your setting here, in your bus, treble, record, music, or monitor. So you can play along in the V8 sound card. So anything settings that you had a trouble, so you can just adjust here, okay? So in the OBS software, you can adjust your settings in the software by clicking this uh, here and advanced option properties okay advanced audio, audio properties and it will be look like this so you can do uh, the settings here in your OBS software if you're recording or streaming just play the settings so that you can correct your 
sounds on your laptop from using a V8. Okay. So my setting here is monitor off all the sounds audio monitoring is off like this one okay so as simple as easy like as so simple as simple like that the, you can do the connection of your V8 sound card uh, like this one to your laptop okay so if you're having uh, trouble uh, you can comment or any suggestions uh, just comment and please like and subscribe the because for more uh, vlog tutorial okay thank you so much Thank <music> you.